Hello and welcome to Blood Types and Blood Typing, uh, the second, I think, screencast of a PowerPoint presentation. So just some background on what blood types are. Uh, you've got uh, various chemicals that appear on our cells, right? So the, they're all over all of our cells and there's different types, different kinds of chemical for different types of cells. Your blood cells have over 30 different identifiable surface chemicals on them that can act as antigens, which are recognizable things that we can uh, either allow to exist in our body if they're familiar to us, or we can react to adversely with our immune system if they are not familiar to us. Two important antigen groups on our blood cells are probably well known to you guys, or at least in name, and those are the ABO blood types or blood groups and the RH uh, groups. Uh, the ABO blood types are a carbohydrate that you'll find on the blood cells. Uh, you can call it like the A carbohydrate or A antigen, the B carbohydrate or B antigen, and the O, which is a kind of a, a, a blank, okay? So O indicates, uh, it's really a zero, but O indicates nothing. So a has A, B has B, A, B has A, B, and if you look over here, you can see that in this little thing right there. You can see the actual blood cells uh, drawn anyway. Uh, the RH groups not shown here are uh, either positive, in which case you have the antigen. I'm just going to call it RH from now on, but you'll see it's called D antigen, and RH negative does not. So RH positive, it's po it means it's positive. Yep, check, it's got the antigen. RH negative, negative, does not have the antigen. So our immune systems respond to things that are there. They don't respond to blanks. So if you show an immune system a perfectly clean looking blood cell over here, like a O negative, no matter who you are, it's not gonna be able to respond to it. It's not like you can go, well, there's, it's missing something, let's get it, right? That's not the way it works. If it has something that you don't have, then you can say, there, I can recognize that thing, let's go get it, right? Now, what you make to go get those things are called antibodies. So the antibodies right here in the second row are anti-B, which means that you're gonna, you know, it's gonna be defense against the B antigen, or anti-A, which is defense against the A antigen. Notice that A can produce anti-B because it doesn't have B. B can produce anti-A because it doesn't have A. AB has both. So you're not gonna produce an antigen to either if you're given a transfusion of that blood type. O, poor little O over there on the end, uh, doesn't have either A or B. So if you give them blood that's not O, they're going to respond by making antibodies. Now, what that does is that it ends up, if you make antibodies to a, uh, to a blood donation, you're going to get some, uh, what they call agglutination. And uh, let's see if I have that, that'll be coming up soon. Let's go to check out our, just some basics about the genetics of blood typing. I'm not gonna get into it deeply here. You'll deal with it at the end of the semester. But uh, if you look at the chart on the left, it has parent one, parent two. So if a parent is has A and the other parent has A, they can obviously produce A children, right? Uh, but if they are, they can also produce O. If you look at over there on the end of that, that little column, column there. Let me see if I can get the, my drawing ability going here. It doesn't seem to want to listen to me. But there it goes. All right, so if so, here here's what I'm looking at right there. So A and A can make A, right? But the way it works is that due to the genetics, some A's can harbor a little O in their blood, and other A's can harbor a little O in their blood, which means that if you combine the O and the O, you can get an O. But we're not going to get into that, like I said. Just Here's the chart, what kind of parents can produce what kind of kids. Funny story, I was in, teaching uh, in the military uh, in Korea. I had a bunch of army people as my students. And everybody in the military knows their, their blood type. Uh, and so I was giving them the background on this genetics of blood typing. And this one guy in the back was like, raised his hand. He goes, well, I'm blood type uh, B, my mom's blood type A, and my dad's blood type O. And I said, no, he's not. <laughs> and he goes, what now? And I said, your dad's not blood type O. And I go, he goes, yeah, he is. And I go, what I'm saying is if he has blood type O, he's not your dad. And the guy was like, he turned white as a sheet. Came back the next class and was like, I called and checked and I was wrong. He was blood type B. And I was like, yes, that's possible. 
Anyway, uh, now the RH factor works kind of the same. Uh, R, the RH is a, fact, uh, a gene that you have that's basically a dominant allele. I'm getting into it here and I told myself I wouldn't. But the dominant allele, if you have it, you're going to express that, that phenotype. You're going to have the RH thing on your, on your blood. But let's hope I didn't confuse you too badly. So let's look at uh, how these guys uh, are responded to. Now, this is just kind of similar to the first slide where I discussed it. But um, notice if you look at the picture on the, the, this table here, A, B, and A, B all have these little, little things on their surface, right? On the surface of their cells. Whereas uh, O does not, right? RH is similar, like I'd mentioned. Like I'd mentioned. The RH positive has an antigen, so you can imagine a little D or something on there, a little triangle or whatever you want to imagine, whereas RH negative does not. So if you are AB positive, you're going to have the A antigen, you're going to have the B antigen, and you're going to have the RH antigen, which means that there's nothing out there that's new to you, at least with respect to these particular antigens. So if you get a transfusion from A positive, B positive, B negative, AB negative, O positive, whatever. Nothing on any of those cells is going to surprise you. Therefore, you are the universal recipient. O negative, as I mentioned, doesn't have any A or B, and it's negative, so it doesn't have the RH, which means that it's like a blank slate. So if you're O negative, uh, you are the universal donor. You can donate to anybody. Next. All right. Here is a compatibility chart. So uh, if you look at the donor on the top and the recipient on the, on the left uh, column there, you can see that as a donor, O negative can give to everybody, right? As a donor, AB positive can only give to AB positive because the, as a recipient, AB positive is the only guy that can recognize the A, the B, and the positive. All right, so I say here that O can only accept O negative because every other type has a surprise, you know, something new. AB positive can't be surprised. It's got everything. It's the total package. Kind of greedy, though, because AB positive can only donate to AB positive, right? So if you are, uh, if you're a person that is AB positive and you get into a car crash and a bunch of your blood shoots out, you can take blood from anybody. Uh, Poor little O negative down here as a recipient. If you lose a lot of blood, well, you better hope there's some O negative blood on stock for you, all right? Which, by the way, is why the uh, Carter Blood Care keeps calling me because I am O negative. Now, when we do that blood type test, and you watch the video that has it, uh, you can see that these reactions over here on the right are called agglutination. So if I put blood type A positive into on these little cards, these little placards that we had, and those placards have an anti-A antibody, anti-B antibody, anti-D antibody, and then the controls nothing, right? Well, the anti-A antibody re reacts to this A right here, and it's going to clump up. It's going to agglutinate. Uh, there's that. I'll put it in orange later. <coughs> it's going to agglutinate. Anti-B antibody, now remember, the ant antibody stuff you make to attack different chemicals. If I put, an if I put the A positive into anti-B, nothing happens because anti-B can't find any B to attack. Anti-D, here's you see that D, so anti-D or anti-RH is going to respond because there's the RH, right? And you can look anywhere down here. A, B positive, when put into these into this test, is going to have a response for A, for B, and for RH. O negative, when put into this test, won't get a response out of anti-A, anti-B, or anti-RH because it's got nothing, right? As you can see, uh, like I say here, I'm, the, I'm O negative, uh, which means I've got these clean blood cells. I can give to anybody, but I can't. I can only take from O negative. A, B positive has all the antigens. Nothing you can give it. It's going to be new to it, and therefore it can receive to any from anybody. But it's kind of selfish when it comes to donating. All right. I hope that helps. Uh, study the videos and uh, eat your vitamins and uh, uh, watch. Look at the photos and study hard. Please stay up with this material.